but this season does feature another tournament seating, which we saw before with the male uh, flyweights. Now, the seeds are already decided when you guys take your pick, so let's take a look at the bracket so far. Roxanne picks up the win tonight as 16 fighters are now down to 15. It does, of course, take three consecutive wins to make it to December 1st finale. So, Justin, your second pick was the number 10 seed, and like we said, you didn't know where they were seated. So what was it about her that made you pick her next? Uh, that's Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, um, so we did a, you know, we got to split up the, the two eight man or two eight woman yep. groups and we got to evaluate each of them. And uh, the main thing I focused on, me and my coach Trevor Whitman was, uh, you know, a little interview, you know, mm -hmm. seeing where they were mentally and, uh, you know, how happy they were to be here, uh, how willing they were to, to be coached. But is there, yeah, like trigger um, words, certain yeah, things you wanted to hear? Yeah, I want to hear, um, um, I need to grow, I want to grow. Not I'm the best in the world, not, you know, I, I want to see, I want you to exude confidence, but not overconfidence, not false confidence. So I want you to be there to work. All these talks of rankings and seeds and this and that, it's very, very complicated, but let's break it down and keep it simple. Who has the better team now that they're all picked? Me. <laughs> all day. I got Why? eight girls that, that are ready to work. I, yeah. It's crazy. Um, when I picked my team, my my main goal wasn't to win this thing. I wanted eight girls that wanted to that wanted to get better. Every you had no day. intention of winning this thing. I, I promise you. I, I know just you don't want to be here. Right. Yeah, I want to give the athletes my assets. Sure, That's sure. Trevor Whitman, and he's gonna be able. To, I want the the eight, the the best eight that are here to work. You wanted to bring out the best in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, and and to that point, I mean, Roxanne's a, a perfect example of that. Really, she talked herself about how much better she is since the first time yeah. she was on the show. So, what did you think of her performance in the fight? Was was that how you expected it to go? Uh, it was exactly how I expected it to go. She does a, you know, she has a really awkward style, but it, the timing is is her is great, and she closes the distance very well whenever uh, she's on her feet. Uh, as soon as she gets on top, her hip pressure is second to none, and we saw that this fight. She dominated yeah, when she got on. Yeah, of course, on the ground, she's probably the best on the whole show. Did you have any concerns, though, with the striking of Shauna? Because she, she certainly had an advantage there. Yeah, no, I, you know, as, if, as long as Roxanne didn't give her space, she was fine. She ate one right hand, but other than that, I thought she did fine in the stand-up. Um, Roxanne, her, it looks, it looks weird and, and awkward on TV, but... When she's in front of you, it's hard to time. It's hard to time her throwing those punches, and so it, it works for her. And I'm glad she has the confidence now.